hello friends let's continue with the puppet in this session we are going to learn how to install puppet agent on ubuntu and windows servers so before starting on uh, let's start on ubuntu servers this is the process of installing puppet agent on ubuntu first we will download the repository we will install the repository and we'll update it and then we are going to install the puppet agent now let's log in to puppet master server vvm01 is our puppet master server let's check the request we can see there are two requests one vvm02 and vvm03 now let's accept this request we have accepted the two requests and now we are going to check any request exist or not now we can see there is no request now you can see all the requests are accepted vvm01 vvm03 and vvm02 vvm01 is a puppet puppet master server which is an agent also in our environment we are going we are having five servers one the puppet master second the puppet master is vvm01 whereas the puppet the second server is vvm02 is a centos server vvm03 is a red hat server vvm04 is an ubuntu and vvm05 is a windows server now let's log in to the ubuntu server vvm04 so this is the ubuntu server here we are now going to download the repository rpm and repository package and now we are going to install the repository packages here the repository package installation is um, completed now we will update the package now we will install the puppet agent now we will install the puppet agent so the puppet agent installation is completed now we will, now we will configure the puppet agent on the ubuntu machine so this is the configuration file it is etc puppet labs puppet and puppet.conf and this is the configuration the certificate name the master server name environment and on regular interval run interval so now we are just going to do the configuration on the pvm04 which is our ubuntu machine here is the configuration now we will enable the service and after rebooting and everything the service should get automatically started so we will enable the service and we will start the service ok so this is done now we will generate the certificate we will send a request to the puppet master server here we are giving the full full path because we have not rebooted the rebooted the server if we reboot the server the environment will be set automatically you can see the request is sent to the master server now we will install the puppet agent on windows server before installing 
we need to ensure that the DNS is configured or the Puppet Master server name is updated in Windows System32 drivers etc host so that the communication will be very fine. Then we will download the agent and execute then execute the puppet agent test. Here this is the file. I have already uploaded the updated the file. But to show you I am reopening the file. Here you can see the host name and the IP address. Now we will download the puppet agent from the puppet lab repository. This is Windows agent. Here you can see the agent installation has started. Let's accept the agreement. And now just provide the puppet master name which is vbm01 and click on next you can see the installation is completed now let's go to the command prompt. Now let's enable the services and start the puppet agent service. The command is same on all the server. Now you can see the service has started and it is enabled also. Now we will request for the certificate for the master server using this command puppet agent test now now let's log into the puppet master server and accept the certificates so these are the command to accept these certificates now this is our master server you can see the two requests that certificate one is for vvm04 and one is for vvm05 now we are going to accept the certificates let's accept this certificate now the certificates are accepted now using puppet agent ca list all you can see all the servers are accepted all certificates are signed now let's log in to vvm02 which is our let's log in to vvm04 and check the puppet agent status here we can see certificate is accepted and there is no error we can see it on the server now let's move to the windows server now let's execute the same command again on windows servers it takes some time to communicate Here you can see the agent installation is completed. Now let's write the manifest. Now we are going to install web server on all the OS. So first before uh, installing the web server let's write the manifest. So this is the manifest where the location on which the manifest is kept.
now let's read the manifest file the manifest file extension should be dot pp otherwise puppet will not understand whether it is a manifest file or not so using this manifest we are going to install web servers on CentOS, Red Hat, Ubuntu and Windows. But uh, Windows we are not going to install anything. We are just going to notify whether the, it is communication is happening or not. Let's save the file. Now let's log in to VVM02 which is a CentOS machine. Okay, now we are on VVM02. Now let's check the OS type. Factor is a command, factor OS. It will give you the OS detail. You can see this is Red Hat. Sorry, this is CentOS 7.6 from Red Hat family only. Now let's go and install the agent. Here I am installing, not installing the agent. Now we are connecting and pulling the manifest. Here you can see the manifest installation is completed and you can see HTTP package is installed. Previously, I was getting some error on the manifest file on line number 22, column number 1, which I have rectified and re-executed this command. Now, let us go to the another server that is VVM03. Now, we are logged in to VVM03. And we are going to execute the same command again, factor and OS version. So you can see here the OS name is Red Hat, Red Hat 7.6. We are going to execute the same command, puppet agent test. You can see some errors. This error are because I have not connected the server to the repository. I will make a local repository and I will connect this server. I have created the local repository from where it can get the package and now you can see the package are getting installed and you can see HTTPD is installed. Now let's log in to the Ubuntu server. Now we are logging to the Ubuntu server and let's execute the same command. You can see it is from Debian family and the server name is Ubuntu. Release is 18.404. Now we are going to run puppet test command again. And now it will install the Apache packages. Here you can see the Apache packages installed. Now let us go to the Windows servers and we are going to execute the same command. In Windows servers it will not do anything, it will just give a notification. Here you can see the notification. Windows IS server is in progress. So this was the manifest which we have written. Thank you.